anticipated this day for a very long time. It has finally taken a person with great courage, authority, and common sense to see what these videos really are. Innocent and harmless family moments captured on a smartphone. The last 102 days have been long, painful, and a nightmare that my wife and I have had to endure. Our lives have been turned upside down. We have suffered considerable mental, physical, and emotional hardship. But today, our minds were filled with more questions than answers. Throughout this process, we have often wondered how this could have been handled differently, but more importantly, how can we prevent this from happening to another innocent family in the future? I am so thankful to live in a country where the presumption of innocence still means something. But I have been humbled by the power that a small group of people can bring to bear on an innocent person. I'm just so thankful to be waking up from this nightmare. In our society today, it is often difficult for people to do the right thing and to acknowledge that they have made a mistake. I'll be the first to let you know that I am sorry for using my cell phone to video videotape some innocent and harmless family moments. I didn't think twice when I used that phone to capture 102 seconds of family moments. At the time, I just thought I was being a good dad. It was, I was just doing what my kids asked me to do, videotape them at play. Ever since the story broke, my wife and I have been beneficiaries of supportive friends, parents, teachers, colleagues, administrators, coaches, civil leaders, and especially family. We are ever grateful for Jerry Mashka and Jim Fleming in representing my family and I. You have both been extremely supportive, professional, and first class throughout this difficult time. We are forever grateful and blessed to have acquired your excellent services. As our family continues through our journey of life, we will need a continuation of concerted effort to shelter my children from these false accusations. It will take a village to raise these children and to keep this nightmare from haunting them in the future. The adversity we have faced will only make us stronger. I'm going to leave you with a quote. Life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. And that's from Lou Holt. On behalf of the Hoffners, thank you to all who have supported us throughout this process. I'm really looking forward to getting back to my life, my job, and my family. Thank you.